Wow, guys. Embiid dropped 70 points. Honestly, watching the game, I, w- I was just stunned. Because by the first quarter, this guy had 24, 26 points, something like that. And I'm just like... Like, I'm kind of used to it at this point. As Sixers fans, we're used to Embiid having big numbers at first quarters or first halves, like 30. That's crazy, man. But I'm not going to lie. I was, like, door dashing. I was thinking about door dashing, so I drove off, and then I'm listening to the game. It's before In, in the beginning of the third quarter, I know he had 34. This guy kept going. He had an and one. He had another layup. He had a quick five points in the first, like, minute of the game. And I'm like, okay, this guy... This guy actually might go for 60 or 70 around that area. So I went back home, put the TV on, and just watched the rest of the game. And guys, guys, it was beautiful, man. Embiid is different. And I don't want to hear any more hate on Embiid. Can we just enjoy? Can we just enjoy this? There's no, why, there's no point of hating this, man. If you guys watch the games instead of complaining about free throws, you guys aren't going to be saying he's a free throw merchant. He's, he's He hasn't made it past the second round. Why, what does this have to do with the second round? Right, this guy's playing his ass off. This is the best Joel Embiid, us Sixers fans, us NBA fans has ever seen. This guy's getting better every year, and he's thirty. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. And when I try to think about you know any reasons why Embiid just keeps getting better and better at this late age of his, is because he joined basketball. He learned the game of basketball at an older age. Like I think he was like what sixteen, seventeen. So he's still very young to the game of basketball, and that's why he's just dramatically getting better every single year. Every rep he gets, he just he learns, and he takes something away from other people's games. Like Jokic, when he said, "Like, yeah, Jokic won it, and I haven't," and he's doing something right, I'm not. You know, he's doing something that I'm not doing. And the next year, he's just passing. He out, he out, he had more assists than than Jokic when he played him last time, right? He outpassed Jokic. So it's just like. It's amazing to see this this player, man. He has so much confidence with him. And as you saw against last night, he was making crazy passes and, you know, celebrating. Just, I don't know, man. And B just makes me feel good. Whenever he has a great game like this, it's just, it just gives us fuel, especially for Philadelphia. You know, we had so many failures with the Philly teams. You know, the Eagles really just <laughs> kind of <laughs> kind of killed our pride as the Eagles fans. Like, damn, we're, how can we be happy? of watching this brand of football, all right? And now we're firing our, our offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator. Like, we're kind of lost. Um, but the Sixers, if we can get a ring, if we can even get past the second round, just get past the second round, and then Embiid is not going to get any more hate. And, you know, I feel like, you know, it's up to Embiid not getting hurt, right? He needs to be healthy going into postseason. But there's there's other places that could help us reach past the second round, and that is Tobias Harris, right? We need Tobias Harris to be consistent. And, you know, I th- I'm pretty sure he didn't make any threes last night. I think he was 0 for 5, but that's what I want. I don't want him to shoot five threes a game, right? And and for him, he just needs to have confidence, right, and, and make good decisions. In the playoffs, I don't want to see him slipping. I don't want to see him playing a different type of game than he's playing right now, right? So it's just, like, little things that can really take us to the second round because I feel like that's what – I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not going to blame Tobias for the other years. I'm going to blame James Harden. Right, because James Harden didn't want to play team ball. James Harden just wanted to play his style of ball and get his assist. Right, he he wasn't going to play if he wasn't going to get his assist and his points. Right, so it's just without Harden in the picture, I can really see our team being more free. And as you see it now, right, it's a free. Our team is free. We're happy. We're playing our brand of basketball. And play this in the playoffs. We haven't seen a team like this. We haven't seen a team like this in so long. Well, I think ever in my life. Right, we had Ben Simmons who who's clogging up the paint for Embiid. We have James Harden who was just ball hogging the ball from Embiid. And now Embiid's by himself, right? And let's see what he's gonna do, guys. Let's see what he's gonna do. I believe we're gonna win a championship this year. I have hope in Joel Embiid. I have faith in Joel Embiid. And if he wins a ring, he's not gonna be top twenty five of all time. He's going to be top ten. And it's funny. Because I think yesterday or a couple of other days, I might have been my last, latest video. Some guy was talking trash and saying, Embiid's not a legend. And I'm like, bro, he's a Philadelphia legend in this moment. Like right now, he's already a Philadelphia legend. He's like, what are you saying? You make no sense. <laughs> and him after dra- dropping 70 points, he's a legend, bro. He's a legend. Only 14 people in the whole NBA has done this. And he's the first person to get 70, 15, and 5. Oh, 18 and 5. Like, come on. He's a legend. Stop hating.
but yeah guys i'm probably gonna drop an, another video pretty soon seeing what trade targets we can get because as of this moment terry rogier got terry rogier got ter got traded to the miami heat so that's another option that we can't really do now but yeah i'm gonna make a video on some options that we have at this moment so yeah drop a like subscribe i'll catch y'all